Hello everybody, and welcome to The Poor Man's Chemist. In this video, I am finally going to do the prep of selenium tetrabromide, which, after fooling around with this, I have come to discover is actually a hell of a lot easier than I was making it out to be. Although, in my defense, all of the textbooks say that you're supposed to like do this in like a quartz tube with like a flowing atmosphere of hot bromine to sublime it. But as usual, there is an easier way provided you're willing to settle for something that might not be 100% pure, but we're not writing any papers here. So this is seven and a half grams of pulverized selenium. And if this goes the way it's gone in the past, the first thing that we want to do is add enough bromine to this for it to quit sizzling. There we go. It's a nice windy day, so hopefully it won't be so bad. It's going to sizzle and crackle a good bit, but we need an excess of bromine in there. And we are going to lose some. It is unavoidable. Now, this is in mineral oil, and this should be mm, basically diselenium, dibromide, and bromine. And what we're going to do nice, is we are going to turn on the heat and we are going to heat this up until it fully reacts. It would be nice if we could sublime some up here and get it to actually purify that way. But we're not necessarily going to stress over it because I have come to learn that so long as we can drive off the excess bromine as vapor, we can basically take this thing and just dump the selenium tetrabromide out of it. Now, it's got to go in another container very fast, but in principle, that's worked every other time I've tried it. I have not done a batch of this big though. And that was quite a bit of bromine that we added in there. Not sure that we quite got all of it. I don't really want to stick my face over it and look. Uh well there's big chunks of solid something in there. There we go, that's sounding a little better. Okay. Now, what I did yesterday when I was playing with this is I just let this heat up, not to any specific temperature. I didn't want to get it too hot, something like around a hundred and now well, above 112, but not too much higher than that. So that this stuff would start to appreciably vaporize. I will come back when it started to do something. All right, I added several milliliters more bromine. And I don't know if this is showing up or not, but... This orange compound that initially forms that I think might be some kind of oxybromide will take on a deeper redder color. And I think that that's more than just the bromine being in there. I think that it's actually a chemical reaction happening. At least it seems to be. There's definitely an excess of bromine in there now. At least I'm pretty sure there is. So, the only thing now is to let this thing heat up and just wait and see what it does. If all goes well and this goes like it did yesterday, 
then we should end up with the tetrabromide, largely. We've got a large amount of solid in there. Like a lot. I don't see any liquid, even though I've added copious amounts of bromine to this. Well, let's see what it does when it heats up. It's a deep red gas that reeks of bromine and vapor. There's stuff down there. Almost looks like it's liquefying. Even though it really shouldn't. This little thing. It should sublimate. But it doesn't sure seem to be inclined to do so. Bromine is dissolving into the mineral oil. That's nice. That looks like chemical weapons. Bromine and mineral oil. God, I wonder what that would be like if you got that on you. That would suck so bad. Boy. At some point, I'm just going to take it out of there. I'm just going to literally dump it out onto a piece of paper. And then get it into a vial as fast as possible and probably put like a drop of bromine in there just so it has a bromine atmosphere to preserve it. <clears throat> That's the best plan I can come up with. All right, here goes nothing. Whoa. And make sure you guys can see this. Great big piles of this shit. It's very damp. <clears throat> Lid. Oh, we lost some of it, but that's okay. Because we got a shitload of it. Ha <laughs> ha! Finally! Finally! Got your ass! It's about fucking time. Damn, I'm sick of inhaling bromine trying to get this shit to work. All right, let me clean up this mess and I'll come back and we will wrap the... Damn, there's still more of it in there. Ah, there's the stuff with the unreacted selenium. Every time there was some, man. The stuff at the very bottom would always have unreacted selenium in it. See it? Damn. Oh, you want to see what happens when you put water on it? Nothing. It just goes away. <laughs> you thought there was going to be a violent reaction, huh? No such luck. No, it turns paper to cheese. Like, in pretty short order. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I guess that's kind of cool. Damn, I'm gonna, damn, that is like liquefying it. No, all right. When cleanup is just as fun as the prep. Ah. Yes, I'm in a mood today. Just go with it. All right, people. After weeks of screwing with this shit on and off whenever I've had time, we have finally got it. It's not completely pure. If it looks a little damp, that's because I did add a little bit of several drops of bromine to the vial. 
just to try to keep it from breaking down and keep it intact. I don't want it decomposing in storage. Now, ideally to actually use it for anything, like if I wanted to try to make the oxybromide, I would probably need to sublimate it just to purify it or come up with some other way to maybe I could solvent extract it to purify it. I'm not sure. Then again, maybe we could just add selenium dioxide to this fucker, heat it up in a tube and see if it actually reacts and melts. That's a possibility as well. But at any rate, focus, you piece of shit. My God, what is, the lighting out here sucks so egregiously. I really hope this is showing up better on screen than it looks on, on my phone here, because this just looks horrible. But there we have it. Selenium tetrabromide. With a little bit of bromine to stabilize it. Finally. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, well, you don't appreciate good fucking chemistry then, do you? What the fuck is wrong with you? There's just no pleasing you, is there? Subscribe, comment, share the video, donate a few bucks if you like seeing this kind of fucking exotic chem. And until the next one, you guys, I will see you later. Finally, I beat your bitch ass. Took weeks. You are mine, motherfucker. Finally.